first show of 2012. Preacher Ghost here coming at you live, baby. Because we've got a web series to show you. Are you excited to see me and my man do some acting like a boss? <laughs> saddens me goes to see so many potential ballers waiting for a chance. We need to help more of them. We should do more. We should try hard. The fuck are you talking about, dude? It's webcast night. Yeah, you're right. Well, let's go with the fucking show then! Ballers, transport! Nice CGI, bro. <laughs> You've got to build it up because. Uh, uh, oh, what's going on, guys? It's Saturday. It's the 14th of January, depending on what country you're in. I don't know times. And it's web show time, people. That's fucking right, baby. Let's get this shit going on. Are you You're fucking ready. feeling it? I'm ready, mate. You feeling it? How should we start the show, my friend? Oh, you feeling that? Let me dust that some bitch off for you. Shine it up. Real nice. Let's pull it back. Do it. Let's pull it Do back. It. Whoa! 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 There is a great disturbance in the ball of force. Put that down. Put the safety on me. Pack it up. Talk to me. Pack it up. There is a great disturbance in the force, my friends. A huge disturbance. Preach is troubled. Why so? I, for one, am troubled. The last two weeks, beginning of this year, I received several, and I mean several, emails. Private messages via the YouTube. <laughs> via the YouTube. <laughs> Shit. And the opening thing from you guys was something rather disturbing from the guys who emailed me. What so? They said to me, Preach, I didn't really have the courage to say something to you in normal live chat. Now this bothers the preachy because why? Why? Because we are all about bringing that community together, baby. It's true. We are not elitist pricks. We are not the people who stand there mocking your DPS. We try to help you. And from now on, my friends, we will not start this show until we get a holler from the audience. First one to say holler wins and gets a bro fist. They get the fucking ultimate bro fist. We will not pull out the ultimate bro fist until everyone in this damn channel. Tell me what's there. Fucking holler, baby. Show me the hollers, people. Yes. I don't care who you are. So if you're at your PC and you're watching us right now, give me a holler. I don't care if your DPS is shit. I don't care if you've never played a game before in your fucking life. That's what we're talking about, ballers. You have no reason to be afraid to talk to us. To talk to him, to talk to me, we'll talk to you all fucking day, and that's what I want to ah, see. Nice. Raise your bro fist to the sky, my friends. Uh, Unholster that bad boy. It's out, mate. Show it to the it's people, out. and in one loud voice, my friends, uh, in preach gaming style, give it the fucking bro fist. Pull that back. Bring it back. Ah, it. Yes. Fucking right, guys. That is what I'm talking about. Fucking right. Got to do it, people. I am absolutely never, ever be afraid to talk to us because we will talk to you all fucking day, guys. Any day of the week, we will talk to you about anything. I don't care if you've heard people every time you've typed a post on a forum and those people have been going, you stupid motherfucker, that's not right. You spelt this wrong. Grammar police and all that fucking nonsense. It doesn't play with us. does not play whatsoever, does it, my friend? No. It's like now I'm getting stick for my beard, mate. Getting stick for your beard? I think you look like a fuzzy pube-faced sex machine. I look like a fucking prematurely ejaculated bear. I think if you went down on a woman right now, we couldn't tell the difference where the joint is, where the you meat is. where the beard starts and where the bush ends. No, and you are going to be tickling that son That's bitch. exactly right. Tickling it, baby. I'm trying to chuck Norris, but I can't fit a fist in it yet. I bet it burns. I bet it does, mate. I bet, I bet you give does. yourself nappy rash. I bet I could set this motherfucking table on fire with my face. Fucking right, my friends. Salute. 2012 is here, and we have all sorts. And I'm hoping you heroes are here to see. We're hoping you're here to see 
our web series. But we'll get to that, my friends. We will fucking All get to that. All in due time. All in due time. time. We're going to kick off with some normal stuff, give you a rundown of the show. We're going to do some normal stuff. We're going to talk a little bit about, wow, some interesting shit went on. You might not believe that some interesting shit went on, but we definitely know some interesting shit. There's the shit. It isn't boring. So we're going to put some preachy sauce on that. Put some like razor blades in it and set it on fire. And then we're going to wrap it up in a ghosty bun. And then we're going to chomp that motherfucker down. I'm going to eat it. You're going to I'm eat, going to eat a plate of human shit. Talk to me. Where are we starting, pal? Now we've got out of the way. I don't care who you are. If you want to send me an email, you want to send me a PM, you want to send us something to this guy. Just do it. Just fucking do just it, man. Do it. Because we do not laugh at you. I have helped tons of people who've said, who've watched my guides, right? I just, I'm going off topic. Go off topic. I'm going off topic. Go off topic. I'm going off topic. Here's the topic. I went topic. over there. I went over there. Who said to me, Preach, can you check out my character, man? Am I doing things right? And it's different from what I've told them in the chat, in the, the, the guide, you know? They've gendered a little differently, yeah. and I'm like, dude, no, man. Just check this up. I'm not going to be like those guys who make a guy and go, Oh, my God, I told you to gem this way. We don't roll that way, sons. We do not roll that way. We do not. We don't. Okay, what are we kicking off with? What about the channel, <sighs> mate? I need a breath. The channel. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Bring I it need in. a breath. Because it, it physically made me think... How badly have some people had it on the internet, right? This is how I fucking think about it, yeah? You're on your internet, you're probably in your own room, you're probably chilling on your own, and you've been beaten down that much, some of you guys, by elitist assholes. And we're going to get on elitism sh soon enough. It's on the topic, it's on the agenda. It's coming. It's coming. Relax. But you've had that much shit off people Jesus. that you think, dude, I am no celebrity. This guy's no celebrity. We're guys just like you, just happen to be fucking ballers with that mouse, <laughs> clicking that shit all day. I will tell you exactly how to do it. So fuck yeah, bring it on. Channel updates. Preach on the road. If you don't know who we are because you've just tuned in, check that logo. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> you've not even put the logo on. I've not even fucking put the logo on. Wait for it, wait for it. I don't even want to see it anymore. Boom! It's not even there. Is there? Not even there, mate. Hang on, hang on. There Oosh. it is. There I can fucking see Oosh. it. That way. Oosh. That's Which us. YouTube. Yeah! Mate. Twitch, mate. Preach, mate. Fucking there. Uh, check out YouTube. That's what we do. We're all about that. <laughs> fucking hell. That was confusing as shit. I'll tell you what it is, because you move your hands that way, but shit be over there. But you think stuff's over there, because that's how the people see it, you know what shit I mean? Shit is wired, mate. I would fail as a weatherman. I would fail. You would both fail. <laughs> we would both fail. I'd be like, it's sunny up in Washington. <laughs> Shit, it's dead in Miami. Shit. <laughs> well, I don't want to be a weatherman. I want to talk about fucking games. That's Imagine what I, I want to talk fucking about. Gaming weather would be me. Yeah, absolutely. That'd gaming weather. Fucking mint. Well, it'd be something like, uh, let me do it, let me do it. This is impromptu. All right. Okay. Impromptu from your comment. Right, this is the fucking map. How do I see it so that I can see your face just to make sure that you're in shot? Wait, 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 wait. Dig, you're out of shot, mate. I'm out of shot. Hang on, let me get a little bit low. Okay, so where's your game map? I'm gonna go. It's a little bit stormy over in Blizzard because of Star Wars The Old Republic. There's a Star Wars The Old Republic storm brewing in Blizzard. But over in Star Wars The Republic, the sun's shining. It's fucking shining. sun's shining. Shit! Get the sun cream! Look, Guild Wars. And some ribs! There's a definite Guild War 2 Stormfront moving in like this. That was sounding too strong, mate. Well, we'll see. like a fucking toddler's we'll fart. Fucking see. We will see a toddler's fart. That's how we do the fucking weather up in Preach's house. It's true. <sighs> I liked it. Anyway, back onto the topic, because this show is going to run for like two fucking hours. <laughs> um... Yeah, channel, mate, channel update. Channel. So we did Preach, preach on the road. road this fucking week, and I'm surprised how many of you guys were actually interested in that shit. Sup, Jackie? Hang on. We need to do two things. A Tommy Moore high five. Start here. Bring, bring it that, around. Bring that shit round. Yes. First fucking time, mate. And a cross bro fist, quadruple bro fist for Jackie. Pack it. Do this. Stack it. Twist it. Fuck me. And bring it. it. That's like four fucking What's up, Jackie? Fists, mate. That's how we That's roll like for Jackie. That's like a fourth lightning of fist. <laughs> Yeah. So we did preach on the road, which was something we talked about, whether or not it work or not. We were going to try and throw it into this fucking um, into the web into the web show, weren't we? Yeah. And then we th I, I actually recorded it. And you know what I'm like? I mean, we've been talking for 11 minutes so far and got nowhere. I like to talk. I like to get the old gums flapping. You know. You need to fucking stop drinking Monster. You need to drink a beer. First. What was that? Drink some more Monster. <laughs> I think I will. <laughs> Shit, mate. Next level fucking beer drinking. <sighs> so we did preach on the road. You guys surprisingly took well to that. Which was cool, because I do spend so much time on the road. And I did promise you that today there would be a London video. Because we're going to release Preach on the Road on Saturdays. And we'd also like to get me on the road and Ghost in the House, maybe. Something like that, you know. Something like that. Nice, mate. A little bit crisscross. 
Uh, and um, yeah, so uh, I didn't go to London this week. The meeting got cancelled, unfortunately, which I was looking forward to a night in a really bad hotel, as I always do. As I always do, I'll send you a lovely picture. If you're following us on Facebook and Twitter, which you should be, because I update that through the week. If I, even if I can't get a video out, you should do it. On the channel as well, you can click the banner on the oh, top yeah. of Facebook and Twitter. I talk about keeping it that shit low, yeah, check. Oh. Cough can be. <laughs> nice, mate. Caught it. I want to cover my face otherwise, man. <laughs> Fired it everywhere. <laughs> So yeah, I, if you don't follow us on Facebook and Twitter, do so, because we're uploading pictures of the shit that's going on through the week. Because if I can't release a video, there's a reason for it, and I'll generally update you on Twitter or something like that. So we could uh, let you know what's happening there. Um, so we did Preach on the Road, which was pretty fucking cool, actually. I quite enjoyed it. It gave me some, because I'm always thinking when I'm on the road, as you can tell, I talk quite fast, I think quite fast, blah, 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 blah. Is that when I'm driving for sort of five or six hours, my mind's just like yeah. fucking going and going and going. What can we do on the YouTube channel, that kind of stuff. So that's what we try to do. Uh, and that worked out quite well. We also did the Razer Megalodon review. Woohoo! So you're interested in buying a Razer Megalodon, check the channel because I did a review on it. And that went down really well as well. Although I spelt Megalodon wrong. For the first, someone pointed out, I don't know if you're in the channel who pointed that out, but I actually spelt Megalodon wrong. In the do video. you know what that is? Embarrassment. No. No, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> no, don't do worthy it. You're producing a great big shiv and a stabbing. <laughs> So yeah, that was a stabbing. I spent Megalodon wrong, but one of you ballers cottoned onto it straight away. I only got two letters mixed up, but uh, it's such a stupid word anyway, Megalodon. No, who, who says that in everyday conversation? Oh, they all knew it was a stabbing. That's a stabbing. That's a stabbing. <laughs> I feel like you've just riddled me Plus with it, wounds. Sergeant Pikey's daughter says, holler, mate. Oh, holler, well, how old is she? Mate. Well done, mate. Is well she done. a kiddie? Is she a little kiddie? Because that's awesome. That'd be awesome. I might have to cut down the swear in a little touch, though. Oh, she's either in that age gap where she's like yay high, therefore can't understand the swearing, or sort of yay high. If she's yay high, she shouldn't be even understanding birth. If Well, I don't think she's yay high. I didn't say yay high. Do you mean yay high? About yay high. Alright, well, is she old enough? She's ten. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> risky. That's that's risky. That's risky. There might be a bit of bad language, but look at it like this. In some countries, it's actually past the watershed. I'm not going to swear. No, in our country it is. I thought 9pm was the watershed in our country. It is. Oh, it's shit, yeah. It's... <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, back to the channel. We did the Razor Megalodon update. We've got the Razor Naga update uh, review to do, the Razor Naga. Uh, I also want to compare it to the Logitech G5, which I can't find. Oh, there it is. The Logitech G5 Why do you gaming have, like, mouse. like eight mice on your desk. Because I use my laptop and all sorts of stuff, so I have two mice um, on the go at a, at a time. Uh, so we're going to compare that as well. And we are going to do the Razor Left Adder, as you call it. Left Adder. The Left Adder. Because you're a call lefty. Call me, mate. I'm a lefty. He's a lefty. He's one of them people who's a lefty. So if you guys are lefties, watch out Bastards, for Bastards, we but, call them. Pretty well, the reason is because it's so hard to get a gaming mouse for a lefty. Yes, it is. It's annoying. Because right, I, I, every time I went to your house, I used to go... Because <laughs> you are such a bobbing Microsoft four-button mouse. Oh! Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do the Naga review for you. I can't review the Mamba, unfortunately, because I don't have one. You know? You know? Uh, you, know? you know? I'll show you the setup later on. Uh, in fact, what I'll do is, I was thinking of doing this anyways, we'll do a tour of uh, Low Tech Studio, because we're always keeping it Low Tech, Bottlers. We're always keeping it Low Tech. Even Low Tech's too high, even a studio is too high tech for how Low Tech Oh no, we because are. I want to think myself better, so I'll call it a studio. <gasps> do you know what we should do? A fucking preach cribs. Cribs. Oh god, everybody does cribs. Have I got to go to the bedroom? Go. Fucking do it. This is where the magic happens. Go, right? This is where the magic happens. And you got to have a fridge full of shit that you never fucking put in your fridge. And you know what? In fact, now that I've just noticed it straight off the bat, I watch these back and I swear the f word too many times. So every time I do it, bring it up, like smack me or something like that. Well, I ain't I'll slapping I'll, you with that no, rough, mate. I'll cut my hands. That's what I mean, I'll allow like one every five minutes. How about a touchy dick? This is going to be like really bad on the channel because I'm going to do swear <laughs> until, I, <laughs> until I achieve the required effects. I'll, I'll definitely do a tour because you will not believe the stuff that's on our right. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? The stuff that's on the right. <laughs> oh, the horse shit. Emma's horse shit. Emma's Women's horse stuff. And, stuff. and you won't believe what's on the left either. <laughs> you, Washing. You won't believe. Well, are you spoiling it? Now they're not going to watch the cribs because you've already... You've already broadcasted it. But like, chain mail and stuff. We also tried to get the green screen to work through XSplit, but it didn't really work. So, we're going to work on that, guys, so you've got some background, because we know our background is fucking rubbish. Uh, so, if there's something we could do about it. The thing is, though, mate, it's good effect, because green, like, in psychology, it calms you down. So, any it doesn't people work come in, it's a flame. Yeah, but we've been fucking drinking Monster all night. That's right. That's right. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's no... Who uses magazines anymore in the world of the internet to get off? Really? All those effing magazines on Ooh, the left. Yeah. Psh, psh. 
Okay, so we did the channel updates. Um, there was no WoW video this week. Sorry, I just ran out of time. I'm going to try and do one tomorrow if you're looking for a WoW video. I think I might do the Elemental Shame because they changed loads in 4.3. Okay. They changed dramatically. I kind of want to get those classes out of the way that changed a lot because a lot of classes didn't change at all. Some classes changed a bit. Um, is there anything else we need to cover before we get crack-a-lacking? Before we get Oh, we did the Star Wars <laughs> space videos. Yeah. Because uh, the missions got hard, but we're going to talk about that in the Star Wars section, yeah? Yeah, I want to go into a bit of that as well. Okay. So we're going to do that in the Star Wars section. So we did some Star Wars stuff there. We even got Ghost to do his first video, which was quite a momentous occasion. Uh, we did your assassin. Yes. Which was pretty awesome. It was, but I actually requested that you do it with me because I would really ramble through it. Are you kidding me? Have you never heard my videos? I my know. guides are 40 minutes well, long. Well, the shit. <laughs> Especially when YouTube wouldn't allow me to upload for longer than 15 minutes. I had to do like one video in five parts. Just one set, let me answer this. Genji, did I, did I cap while you was asleep? Yes, I did, mate. Yes, you did. For this lad life. is actually capped. So but we'll, we'll get, get there. to that. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there, mate. So let's kick into some WoW stuff. Because WoW, although it's been really quiet, we'll get to that in a sec as well. Uh, WoW's been quite cool. Um, loads of stuff going on. Now, the first thing we wanted to bring up is a little bit of a topic. So please chime in here, guys. We want your opinion on this. On elitist attitudes and what it's like. Because I sort of compared being an elitist in WoW. Because uh, I was an elitist, don't get me wrong, I was there. I was one of those arseholes. I could not understand why people couldn't play to my level. Yeah. Although I've been playing for six years. And I sort of compared it, or the, the, the way I compared it, was it being in WoW and not being great at the game, or being new to the game, um, you, it was like going to learn the piano. Because most of us, I assume, don't know how to play the piano. In general, somebody out there will go, I could play the piano like fucking Mozart, mate. <laughs> <laughs> most of us can't really play the piano. But you go to the piano lesson... And the teacher's behind you who's been playing for 20 years. Let's demonstrate. Pretend to play the piano. This is Isn't a, she lovely? This is our uh, rendition of elitism in Isn't WoW. Isn't she wonderful? Oh, you're pressing that wrong. Stevie fucking... Oh, why is your finger there? Stevie... Whoa! Stevie... Whoa! Ruffle! Wonder. Ruffle! No, you're doing it wrong. No, no, you got to put your hand there. No, no. Noob. Noob. Ah... Ah, noob. That's what elitism's like in fucking Warcraft, isn't it? It's like going to do something you've never done before. That is trolling. That's what elitists are. They're fucking trolls, man. They're fucking total trolls. Because half the time, the people I've seen get fucking um, harassed are harassing people in Warcraft. I shit. I swear to God, because nobody really knows me, generally. You know, we've got, what? We're rocking at the moment with three and a half K subscribers. That's a fucking bro fist. Undercover one, mate. Undercover bro fist. <laughs> So we do that, but I go in characters where no one really knows my name. Unless you've, like, seen me do a guide on Bang. Uh, my uh, my shame is called Bang. You won't know that's me. So I'm sort of chilling there, and I'm probably doing a guide for you guys. You guys have no idea how many guides I did. Where somebody was bullying someone else. And they were fucking shit. They were crap. And I'm sat there going... Because I'm trying to talk on the mic, so I'm like this. So, guys, you want to hit the big lava burst, but make sure you've got your flame shock on and all that. And then the guy in front of me is going, Oh, you suck to some other guy yeah, well, then you, while running off the cliff. The best part of it is, though, like in the back of your mind, you're thinking, It's all right, it's all good on YouTube. Your name's well, going to come up in the yeah, chat. Yeah, this is a true story. One of the when I first started doing the videos, which was now, we're, I think we're up to about five months now, uh, I started doing the videos. And in the very early ones, I didn't know how to deal with it. So, when somebody started trolling really hard, I used to go, Lol, people are watching this on YouTube. And then they'd, they'd like leave the instance. And I was like, yeah, I'm recording this for YouTube. And then they'd just leave instantly. And they'd be like, oh no, YouTube! <laughs> you know, I, you just got YouTubed, mate. And you know, I didn't even pick it's up. Like Roadhouse, mate, but YouTube. Yes, yeah, so I just YouTube. Roundhouse kit them. And then they'd leave the group and then I'd have to sort of cut the video. Wait 10 minutes. I even started doing fails of the week. I think there's only two of them on my channel because they was just starting to get so many. Clips of people failing all the time. Essentially. It wasn't a case that I didn't want to help them, but you know, you can imagine me doing a guide where I had to stop yeah. and help somebody. In fact, that was something I brought up. I don't know if any of you saw that video. I was doing the Feral Druid cat video. Meow! When I did the meow, people thought I dubbed it. Do you remember? Like yeah. I stole it. Meow! <laughs> did the meow video. The first time I did it was with a warrior who recognized me and never tanked before, right? right okay. So he just spec prop and he was going in. And he went, holy shit, Preach is here. And I was like, yo, man, what's up? What's going on? And he's like, oh, I've never tanked before and stuff. Will you let me know if I'm doing anything wrong? I was like, yeah, cool, no problem. So I carried on doing the guide. And during the guide, I'm actually typing to this guy. And then he stopped every pack 
to ask me what should I do at this pack and it was a legitimate question so I was answering him and the video was 74 minutes long it was an hour and 20 minute in Grimbatol heroic no less and it was really bad I couldn't even use it by chopping it because at one point you know when you go uh, did you do Grimbatol at all? No. I don't think you did but you go. You guys might know if you played WoW in Grimbatol you go over a bridge at one point oh man he fell down he like dived in and just fell off <laughs> and I could not stop laughing on the video. I was pissing my pants so hard. It was <laughs> unbelievable. I was laughing so hard. He fell off the cliff, and uh, he never. He, when he he got red, and he never came back. No, he did. He came back, but he never spoke to me after that. And I felt so bad. I really did feel bad. See, it that's, was terrible. Where, that's where we're like the yin and yang because you're like the like you know the enlightened sort of. It's okay, buddy. Carry on. I couldn't have typed in H&A quick enough for the rest of that fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you would have been training your yeah, keyboard. Totally, I would have been track and field in H&A. <laughs> oh, it was shocking, man. But yeah, we just wanted to talk to you about Lisa's because it's got a tie to where we started the show with you guys. If you, don't, Never be fair to type into this chat, guys. Ever. Because we defend you to the fucking end, believe me. Unless you're a dumb bastard who says something trollish. Which you all know when you spot it anyway. I mean, you know there's no trolls that come into our chat. I think we had a troll once and he left within about four seconds because we burned him to death. Yes. So, we say this to trolls and elitists, fuck you, that no room for it. That wasn't even, like, close to being well, aggressive. You're the, you're the man of rage. <laughs> fuck off! Exactly. Spot everywhere then, mate. Is that all over the screen? Should we check? Have you got dribble? No, looking good. It's all right, looking mate. sharp. Okay. Hey, I tell you what, you look handsome as fuck tonight. I don't, mate. I basically got to the point where I wanted to do the webcast with a bit of stubble, but... I forgot to shave one. I wanted to for the stubble to grow back. So I thought, you know what, fuck it. I'll half Norris it, mate, and just half have it grow. It. People are going to wonder what your hat is. It's the same one, mate, as always. It's Zylo. Sup, buddy. Sup, it's Zylo. Same, Take it easy, bro. Um, yeah, Zylo's from the Guild, by the way. Uh, so I hope they're doing well. I think they're eight out of... Seven out of nine now. I think nice. heroic. Well nice. done. I'm on a, a break from WoW at the moment. I just haven't got time to play WoW raiding. I'm hoping to get back into it around March, maybe. Something like that. That's realistically when I can get back yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, uh, So, yeah, that's that's what's going on there. I'm still not even Captain Star Wars. Lol. But we'll get to there in the end. Just so, drop it in again, mate. I did just before I got here. I know. And that's why you're going to be talking a little bit about Star Wars. I know you guys are waiting for the web show. We're going to get there shortly. Don't you worry about that. Um, this is the web show. So, we wanted to so, carry on just on a little bit more about... Wow. Okay. Blizzard on the defensive for the first time I've ever seen because yeah, of another game. About this, before. this is pretty fucking decent, this guy's. Uh, decent in the way that this. Wow. If you think Wow has gotten stale or has got a little bit easier, the reason is because they have no competition. And right, yeah, I, as a business model, I certainly think WoW is moving to a younger audience and we're going to move on to a different MMO. That's fine, no issue with that. But WoW certainly has had sort of less effort than we would expect from Blizzard. Because Blizzard games, as we know, are always truly amazing. And let's never forget, by any means, no matter what anybody says about Star Wars, WoW has been the best game on the planet since it came out. Yeah, It has, unquestionably. And look at the amount of people who played or have played WoW, 11 million at one point, we're talking the best game ever fucking made, okay? Easy. No questions asked. But certainly Cataclysm has been Dragon Soul, at least in my opinion, and the people who've cleared it, I spoke to the guys from Method again, some friends are there. Uh, they are disgusted with the Dragon Soul. They hate it, not just because they were banned before they could go into the race, but just because the Deathwing is a disastrous boss. We spoke about that last time. The floor, mate. Which... <laughs> I almost kissed you there. <laughs> but yeah, we know that. Um, Deathwing has been a disaster. They're looking for... Uh, this is what I wanted to speak to you about. Uh, and Blizzard has gone on the defensive on several points that people have brought up after playing Star Wars. A little bit of competition is great for WoW, believe me. So if you still like WoW and you're not into Star Wars, that's fine. This is a good thing for it. Believe me, it's a great thing for it. Uh, why are Blizzard on the defensive? You can read this at MMO Champion. There's two big blue posts defending themselves. Because people have said... Let's bring up the main points. What the fuck is that noise? Someone upstairs doing something. I can only gather. I'm sure these guys can't. Speed guy jerking. Speed jerking. <laughs> <laughs> um, As you were. Linear questing. Star Wars doesn't have linear questing. The questings are a choice. Even the, uh, I mean, the choices don't take you too different from where you're going, unless it's the class quest, which takes you in all sorts of different areas. Yeah. Uh, but there's definite choice in there, okay? Uh, so we definitely need to. The, the people are saying, Blizzard, why don't you up your game with your questing? Why is it? I don't even read the quest text. I yeah. never read the quest text in WoW, unless I didn't know where to go. There's I would even, look for the location. There's even the option, so you don't have to read it scrolling. It just appears. It just appears and disappears. It. So that was definitely got lackluster. People, uh, Blizzard certainly had the mentality that people don't read the quests. Well, that's not true, is it? Star Wars has just proved that fucking wrong. People will read those fucking quests if they're good enough. 
If the story is good enough, we will certainly fucking read it. Uh, so Blizzard has definitely had a slap it on the ass for that. A Tommy Moore high five to Star Wars for bringing that alive. Start mm -hmm. here. Oh, I was already on my way then, mate. Prayer mode. Bring it round. Oh, it's a miscue. It's a fucking miscue. It was a dud. I fucking had enough. It was a dud. Tommy Moore deserves better. He deserves better. Give him better then. Don't even think about it. Just go. Just go. Better. It was still 50-50. So, yeah, the first thing was the linear questing. Uh, Blizzard has already had to come on the defence. This is brilliant for a while, believe me. Blizzard never had to do this. They never had to do it with Aeon. They didn't have to do it with Conan, because everyone played Conan and went, this is shit. Played Aeon, this is shit. We'll go back to WoW. Not happened so far with Star Wars. Might happen. Don't get us wrong on that. I'm not predicting it won't happen. Might happen, because everybody's getting to the end game now. Is there enough end game there? But we'll get to that in Star Wars. Oh, we'll get to that. We'll mate. get to that. Well, we're talking about WoW just now, but then we're going to get into the web series. Ooh! So, linear questing. People aren't happy. Star Wars certainly has destroyed World of Warcraft and its leveling system. We know that for a fact. Anybody who's played it knows that. Star Wars leveling is an experience in itself. It's not a case of getting from zero to the end game. Then they complained that Cataclysm, why did you not even bother with the leveling? Because Cataclysm leveling, I stayed up. We had Kanza Monster. We had all sorts. I was ready for a good two-day solid grind. Uh, I capped with in under 20 hours. Easy. Uh, from 70 to 80. Under 20 hours. Piece of piss. The leveling in Cataclysm was non-existent. It was all about the end game. Now people are saying... This should be a levelling experience. It should be there. We don't have to race to the end game. And the people who did race to the end game have rolled a lot of vaults in Star Wars because people are going, dude, you missed the whole thing. Totally. So they're re rolling. The other thing, looking for raid. Looking for raid was an instantaneous success and then failed dramatically. I mean, it went like that. This is looking for raid. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What the fuck? House. Because everybody's killed Deathwing. Looking for raid. Really? Yeah. Look at the stats. The stats are up on MMO. Lots and lots of people who were awful oh, at the game and haven't had to develop any skills or anything like that have fucking killed Deathwing. Why should we bother playing anymore? Why should we bother? Unless I, thought, I thought looking for A was a good idea, but I didn't think that it was going to be possible for a looking for Looking for A, a should have been for Firelands. Them. Yeah. And not for fucking Deathwing. Because no. if you give people the opportunity to kill the last boss before the next expansion, two weeks after that re expansion is released... Yeah. Oh, the new patch, should I say. Not an expansion. The new patch is released. What is keeping them there? And people are saying, I've killed, Lucky I've killed Deathwing on nearly every character I've got. What the fuck, dude? Why have I done that? That's, you can see the problem straight away. Oh, this is mint. I'm killing Deathwing getting loads of loot. Well, what's the fucking point? The gear is useless instantaneously. Unless you're doing hard modes, which are horrible, by the way, except the first few bosses. I only did a few hard modes, so I'm not, don't take me as the voice of reason on that. Uh, maybe even Xylo can chip in there if you're still enjoying the hard modes. But I know from word of mouth, Spine of Deathwing Heroic, Madness of Deathwing Heroic are ha awful. Uh, the Warmaster is awful. The Frost Boss, I forget a name, Frost Maiden something, is awful. Traxian is boring as shit. Warlord Zonos and the other the other guys like Zonos are really, really good. Yossage. Yossage and Zonos are fantastic. But that's two out of sort of nine bosses. Why are you laughing at me? What have I done? Yossage. Have I got a, Yossage. It sounds like a boss. Sausage. Sausage McBiscuit. Sausage. There you go. So, yeah. Um, do you want to say that, that uh, Dantherman340 said that his LFR group down the entire instance with one white. Point made. What is the fucking point in continuing? So, looking for aid has come and spanked Blizzard right in the ass, guys. So, be aware of that. So, people are saying... Why did you want introduce looking for raid for, for Deathwing? We would have been happy with it for Firelands because the people who did looking for raid in general hadn't been able to access any raid content. Yeah. So you've got um, Blackwing Descent, you've got the other one, uh, Bastion of Twilight, you've got all sorts of stuff there for them to go at to get some loot. It could have updated the loot in looking for raid for them dungeons. A little bit lower, but whatever, it doesn't matter. There's just a couple of things in chat there. Uh, people, hit me, hit me, hit me. Uh, people have got things to do well, literally nip out and come back and they want to know when we're going to put episode one on all right we'll do it in 15 minutes so we'll say i yeah. say let's say when sergeant pikey gets back from dropping the kids off and gives it a big holler yeah chat, you guys it has are, to be a holler and then we'll fucking get ready for it you guys are here every week we have no problem waiting go and do it then we'll rock the web show and um, so go and do whatever you've got to do guys just give us a holler when you get back no problem with that at all uh so in terms of wow um, yeah, the looking for aid. I made some other note there that something bo bothered me about what I read. Um, world exploration. That was the other point. Cataclysm had no world exploration. It was go here, go here, go here, there, go there. Star Wars. I think of Star Wars. I've done it badly. I do not like the Data Cron system, but we'll get to that in uh, later on in the Star Wars. You mean the, the stat <clears throat> improvement? Yeah, I don't like that. Why? Well, for one, I've done one world of it and I've had enough. It was fucking annoying. But it does promote world exploration. There's a reason to be out in the world. <laughs> so we could say 
Star Wars has promoted world exploration. Blizzard didn't. Get this area done as fast as humanly possible and go there. Now, I tend to disagree with it because I haven't seen the Star Wars Endgame, so I don't want to put too fine a point on this because I don't know if you have to explore the planets at the end game. Right, okay. Because I've explored, but I'm a tend to be an exploring WoW. I always tell you, don't stick to instances, don't stick to PvP, go and do the quest because WoW had some brilliant stories in uh, Cataclysm. It really fucking did. Um, so when we're talking about ex world exploration, I think Cataclysm did okay. Every storyline I did in each of the Cataclysm Dawns was fantastic. You didn't have to finish them. You could get, I think you could get 82 sort of midway through Hyjal. And there was two zones where you could get 80 to 82. So you basically missed one of the zones completely. That was the same, though, in um, <clears throat> uh, Lich King as well and stuff like that. There was yeah, entire yeah. zones that you didn't have to well, go. Well, you either did Howling Fjord or... <sighs> was it uh, Razor? No. that's gonna. What's the other zone, guys? Come on, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, Howling Fjord and the other one. Oh, where Oak Guard Peak is. I know what's in the zone. I can walk you through that fucking zone. I could take you to every corner of that zone. I can't remember the name of it. That's a pisser. That's a stabbing. That is a stabbing. That's a stabbing. Oh, look Boy, at that. Fucking is give that it to him. Dr. Scott Dale, mate. No, no, no. Everybody won there. That oh, was whoa, Jesus Christ. Look at all that. Fuck right. You know what the guys get for that, don't you? A massive. Shine that motherfucker up. This one's for you guys. because that's... Tommy Wall got it wrong, though. Tommy. <laughs> Did Tommy, I the people, a bro fit. Tommy, you got it wrong. Oh, Tommy, fuck. Tommy, shit. the guy who actually has his own high five, was the only person in that list to get it wrong. Oh, come on, come on. The rest of the guys get one. We're not okay. gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna punish everyone else for your fail, Tommy. We're not gonna do it. Just you. Just you are not involved in this. Put your fist down, Tommy. Look away from the screen. Yes! You fucking heroes keep us rocking and rolling every fucking second. Tommy fucking Moore. Tommy Moore, fuck's sake. <laughs> every just... fucking time. We need to have a discussion on this. Yeah, so it was so, a great fucking... Fair enough, it was a good try, Tommy. Good try, Tommy. Good try, Tommy. No yeah. issue from us. We're not gonna we're gonna laugh at you about it. <laughs> so yeah, it's great to see Blizzard on this defensive because that means they're taking other games seriously. In the past, Blizzard had this arrogance that they didn't have to take the other MO seriously. They were very happy where fucking yeah, WoW was. Of course it was. Super happy. WoW was just steamrolling everything and they were really happy with yeah. that. Now they've had to take some notice. So I'll be interested to see what the numbers are on subscriptions in Blizzard. Are coming shortly. Oh, yeah, of course. I would love to see the Q1 change because the only reason Blizzard would have responded like that is if it meant something. So we'll be interested to see that, uh, see where they're going with that. But I certainly think looking for Raid has been a massive fail. 30 minutes, probably not, dude. Probably can't do 30 minutes, unfortunately. Uh, Too but much we're to fit in, dude. Yeah, we'll probably not do Otherwise, we'll be on all fucking nine. Um, we'll be on all night. What, we'll, what I think we'll do is we'll talk a couple more points about WoW. Uh, then we'll take our swift break. Then we'll start talking about the the series because we want to do the series in the middle when most of you guys are here. So the series is coming in sort of uh, you said 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think we'll do it that way. We'll start talking about the day because uh, we say it was such an amazing day. We'll get to that. Uh, the other thing we wanted to talk about in while then is uh, just some small updates for you guys. If you play mages or paladins, you're, or holy paladins or fire mages, you're getting nerfed. Um, surprised. <laughs> <laughs> If you play these, you're getting nerfed. You are getting nerfed. Uh, fire, fire mages are getting a flat out slap in the nuts. It really, really is. Get your nuts on the table. Bang. They're getting a big slap. I think Fireball and Pyroblast are getting fucking nerfed. Nice, uh, and that is because fire has historically always scaled the best with spell power. Right. You've now got mages with extraordinary levels of spell power. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, don't worry about it too much. But a spell has a code in it. This is. I'll break it down for you like a fraction. Spells have a code in it. And that code says... It's this spell, this damage, multiplied by your spell power as a number. So it could be 1.2. Okay. So your spell power times 1.2. Just to make it easier, uh, fire always the highest. They call it a coefficient. Fire always had the highest coefficient. So whereas arcane might be uh, arcane blast times 1.1, fire was always sort of fireball times 1.3. Something like that. Right, so it always, okay. so now you've got mages yeah. with higher fireball power. They're getting really punched in the teeth. So... Uh, I haven't seen Mage's DPS earlier, so I don't want to comment on it too much, but it must be high, especially when you're mixing in things like um, Dragon Wrath. 
Because Dragon Wrath went to basically the, it's the legendary staff, yeah. Okay. The Dragon Wrath went to a lot of mages. A lot of mages got Dragon Wrath. Um, I know, I know. Even uh, Darkstorm, I, I, even though I'm on a break, I've seen they're recruiting people with Dragon Wrath because it's such an easy legendary to get. Yeah. It is a very easy legendary to get that they're definitely bringing it back in. They did get a buff, and now they're taking it back down again. Oh, sad face, though. <laughs> Sorry, man. That's really fucking sad. <laughs> oh. Oh, check it out, mate. Lauren from Guild. Is that Lauren from Guild? From our Guild, mate. Yo, Lauren. The Council of Ballers. Sup, yo. But we'll get to that in Star Wars. But oh, yeah, carry on. I'm so happy to see so many members of the Guild in here. Uh, and I'm sure they were looking forward to playing with me more. And that's coming, guys. Don't worry. Once I get some free time, I'm going to be fucking pounding Star Wars. Uh, so yeah, they're getting a nerf. Holy Paladin's also getting a nerf because they basically... Um, I spoke to uh, Apco. Uh, if you don't know, Apco is in our Guild. Um, and Apco is a member of Method. Don't spam him, guys. He's, he's a friend of ours, okay? So don't ask him loads of questions about WoW. He's quite happy to play in our Guild. Um, he's a member of Holy Pal one of the Holy Paladin officers. I think he was the former healing officer okay. of Method. Uh, and they were, he was telling me that I'm just fucking spamming Holy Radiance constantly because Holy Radiance is just so powerful. Oh, so, so more than two people have taken damage. Holy Radiance, Holy Radiance, Holy Radiance, which is like an AoE heal. Uh, they're spamming it constantly. Isn't it something to do with the increased range that you get? No, it's just so powerful as a really? heal. Yeah, it's so stupidly powerful that there's no point in not using it when some people have taken some damage. Right, okay. I mean, it's boring as shit because it's worked so hard to make Holy Palad Paladins interesting. And I was really surprised if you saw the guide on Holy Paladins, guys. I really recommend if you're ever interested in the classes just to check the channel and see what I, how I found it. Um, Holy Paladins are, were used to be... Because you were a Holy Paladin. What the fuck am I talking about? I was an old school Holy Paladin. <clears throat> Tell me what Holy, when you were Holy Paladin during Vanilla... Uh, TBC. No. Well, yes, you were in TBC. vanilla because I remember you healing at Ragnaros, and then you fucked it off and went DPS. Oh yeah, <laughs> with yeah. the worst was, DPS in history. Oh, that I was the DPS I didn't. That's what I was fucking. Oh yeah, was, yeah. Sorry, I played it. I played it at the end of vanilla. Um, played it in TBC, and I played it half and half in Lich King as well. And tell us what did you, what was your experience with Holy Paladins then? I liked it. I think that it got a lot better, but it was to be honest, it wasn't the like. The AOE healing and things like that. It was just very large, direct heals and infinite mana. Exactly. So that carried on all the way through TBC and through Lich King. Holy light, holy light, holy light, holy light. And Blizzard worked their balls off to make Holy Paladins more interesting. Yeah. And they really succeeded. On the guide, I even said to you guys, Holy Paladins much more interesting now. Really, really, really are working their dream off. They had, um, they had loads of different spells. We had Holy Shock. We had all sorts. Divine, you know, divine Plea, Divine yeah. Radiance. All that good stuff. Holy Radiance. And then they just buffed Holy Radiance so much that it's stupid not to use it. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's yeah. just stupid not to use it. You wouldn't not use it, and that's the problem. Why do you keep showing me? I hate looking at myself. I just like to see us. Hi. <laughs> I <laughs> see you. Really. Si oh, I got a mustache. No, dude. I'll see. That's what I mean about my facial hair. Let it grow for ages. And I always say, like, if I could do it, I'd grow a fucking handlebar. But look at my stupid shit facial this hair. This isn't the time. This isn't no, the time. Look, no fucking. Can't go on the bar. No one <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, they are getting a nerf as well. Holy Radiance getting a nerf. It's only the one spell getting a nerf, then hopefully that's going to actually make it more fun so you're not spamming it all the time. Yeah. Either that or you're just going to be spamming a weaker version. <laughs> Which would be crap. <laughs> I think that's about wraps us up for WoW news today. Um, what are we on? We're on 22. Yeah, I know you guys are waiting for the series. We're really happy with that. So we're going to take our two minute break now, get some air because it gets really hot in this room because we have to seal it all off and have the PC and everything going. And the eight cans of monster, which are the eight cans of monster, which firing your brain. Surge through your body. So we're going to take a quick two minute break and then it's web series time, guys. We're going to be rocking the web series for you. I'm so glad so many of you have turned up to watch it. Uh, it's coming very, very shortly, guys. We'll be right back. Pocket shield. I fucking hate that shield so much. Yumri! Nice. <laughs> oh, this bit's all about killing newbies and BGs. Awesome. No skill involved. 3k! You can see why people moan about warriors so much, but they've, no offense, they've got shit gear. There's no way I should be walking around 2k in everybody. Look at that, this is ridiculous. Yeah, well, they whinge about warriors, but at the end of the day, if you grinded the gear, fair play to you, fuck them for not doing it. They don't care, do they? You can't buy it for badges, they don't want it. So, if you do moan about warriors being overpowered, suck a cock. <laughs> Get the gear, and then moan. So even that guy on the screen said, love you. Yeah, he was uh, <laughs> impressed that he managed to kill someone in a pub. <laughs> Look at the state of the damage. It, does, it is fun though, you know what I mean? See if I can capture this guy on the way past. 
ninjaed me. You see that then? Might be a cow, but I've got the powers. Oh, sorry, where's the hamstring? Oh, he's got it. I've got him, Fair I've got enough. him. Fair enough. I had the hamstring on. Look at his name, Exorcist. <laughs> Do I, uh, I, I missed him here, I actually lost him. I was just that bored. This guy owns Nendo from uh, Genjuros, I think it was. I made, tried to make the movie with no healers, but this guy was like just following me around and he started giving me wind fury and strength of earth. It just gets embarrassing from there. Right? No, it's the uh, graveyard. Yeah, yeah. You say, I've killed this guy. I've noticed I've got wind fury and this guy's just staring at me, tagging <laughs> me. And I'm like, well, let's go and kill some people. And there he comes following me there. And I'm like, yeah, let's graveyard. do it. Let's do it. Big time.